It was a day of preparation as villagers helped with the finishing touches on their floats and families set up their canopies for tomorrow's Liberation Day parade. In Telefofo, Mayor Vicente Taidegui looked at his village float with pride. We've been doing this for the last, about the last three weeks. Okay. Most of the, you know, the materials came from uh, for donation, from black construction. I mean, we used a lot of natural resources uh -huh. and, uh, and the Navy, the uh, state village, assist us in painting the mural. So that's a big help you know, from the Navy. The village floats are all placed near the end of the parade with Telefofos second to last. But families with canopies are likely to stay until the end. PNC stopped by the Solace family canopy this morning as they were busy getting things ready for tomorrow. Cecilia Solace says some of her family will camp out at the site tonight to make sure it's fully decorated for Sorensen Media Group's canopy decorating contest. We're going to do everything here. We're going to cook, decorate, sleep, like being at home, <laughs> but also enjoy the uh, the. Parade. The parade will begin in the 9 o'clock hour tomorrow with the Guam Hogs and the Guam Harley motorcycle owners, followed by the governor and the first lady. The Mayor's Council Parade Committee Chairman Jesse Gogui reminds the public to be mindful of the road closures that will begin at 3 a.m. with the southbound lanes of Marine Corps Drive from Adaluk to Assen Beach closed for the parade lineup and then the closure of Marine Corps Drive for the parade. You can't go beyond Marine Corps Drive from Adeloupe up to the Route 4, Route 8 intersection, or what we call the Mighty Intersection, from beginning at 7 o'clock in the morning all the way up until the, the end of the parade.